the Baha'i Temple, you can see it here. Uh, and that's its dome up there. Let's check the dome up there. Please do subscribe to my channel, help me grow. You can share the video and like. Thank you, nice viewing. To show you inside, but the rules are that you are not supposed to take photos inside the temple. That's why you won't be able to see any photo of what is happening inside. But you actually do know it's a place of worship. Yeah. So you won't be able to see inside the temple. But outside the photos are allowed. You can take as many photos as you want if you're outside. All videos. You, can, you are free to do what you want. But inside, you're not supposed to take any photo. That's why you, we won't be able to see all of you any photo. From That's inside the iconic Baha'i Temple. It was started in nine, it was built in nineteen fifty eight. All it was completed in nineteen fifty eight. So it has been here for quite some time, more than fifty years. That is it. I'm good with it. And I also come this place welcomes everyone to come and say prayers. Even of, of, of different religions, they can come and say their own prayers here, and it's a, you see the serenity of the place deserves a, deserves a, deserves a, that environment. So you can come when you are free and say your prayers. You asked about Iran. Bahá'u'lláh was born in Iran, in Tehran, Iran, and then he was exiled from Tehran. He was born. He was born in, Iran, in Tehran, Iran, and he, he was exiled from Tehran to uh, to to up, up until he reached Israel on Mount Carmel. That's where he's buried, and uh, all the Baha'i headquarters are in Israel. Yes, it was opened in 1958. I'm not sure the year, but at least I know. It, it, the construction it was being constructed around that time, okay. uh, the time for construction. Okay. It was, it, but it's uh, it's uh, over 50 years old. That's good. Yeah. You mentioned that any religion, any person can any, come in and pray. Is any that person of, of any religion can come and pray. But in the Baha'i Temple, we only allow to read by holy scriptures only. You don't come with your own scriptures we come we already we can read the bible we can read the quran we can read the baha'i holy writings we can read the guitar those are the the holy writings we read from the from the temple only but uh, other other writings are not allowed you know, to meditate and pray and uh, ask your god to converse with the Prayer, you know, is a conversation with God, so you can converse in a way you feel that you want to talk to your God. Okay, that's good, it's so interesting. Thank you very much. So, that's the iconic building of the Baha'i Temple, as I've explained, and as the gentleman has explained to you, he has given us some history of this place where the religion started from, adding where their headquarters are now. He said that they are in. Israel, but this one in Uganda was started in 1958, and you can really see some of the trees, like I've shown you in the video. Some of the trees are really good. You can just tell that they are more than 25. And the list had given them 25, but the man has told me most of them are over 50 years old. The trees in this place. This is the compound in the background there. You can see those are the settlements around this place. These are some of the trees, I think you can see them. So old. It's a coming environment. Oh, no, no, no. Here we got a clear view of the temple. You can see it properly there. That is, it's one of the iconic buildings in Uganda at the moment. Although there are many other buildings like the Matas Pacific and the Congo, Mosques coming up, we have Chiguri, we have Old Kampala, all those are major landmarks in Kampala. Kampala here. There are some of the major landmarks in Kampala. And 
the end of this time that I should visit. There are many others that I have mentioned to you, uh, and others are coming up, like the Mbogo Mosque. I've just mentioned you to that. I've just told you that. Then we have uh, HPM Ministries. Canon is also going to put up a very, very big building, and very many other churches. We have Nambori. Uh, soon, Nechibo Stadium is also coming up. They are constructing it, and many, many other churches, all places of worship. And I just told you that this temple started in, was opened in 1958. You can see these trees, they are really old. I think they are more than, some of them are more than 50 years. Probably that's when they were planted, most of them. They are really old. I don't know the types of trees, but it's really a kept, a well kept area. So nice, nice compound, everything is so nice. You can see the trees, the compound. It's just got a huge compound, by the way. Yeah. You see that dome is iconic. You can, most of the hills, when you are in most places in Kampariya, you can see it and you know that that is Mothai Temple. It has been here in Uganda for quite some time, so many years I grew up knowing that Baha'i Temple exists in Uganda. Yeah. You can come also and read the Bible, but in, inside the Baha'i Temple they allow only holy scriptures, no magazines, no what. So that is it. The birds are fled off. Those are ibis, ibis birds. They have seen me and they have taken off to the trees. So they are so sensitive to their surroundings. Basically it's a, like a dome. A, a up it's like a dome. Down it's a, such a normal building. Up the roofing is like a dome. The place is well kept, well kept, and the breeze is so nice. This is part of the compound. 